wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world. Welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti here in beautiful Melrose, Massachusetts at MWF Studios. Let's take a look back at WWE SmackDown from June the 4th, 2015 on the Sci-Fi Network. Before we get going, fans, we'd love for you to take advantage of some of the great offers we have here at Boston Wrestling as well as from our partners that we team up with so we can continue to bring you more and more great free professional wrestling content. Between now and this Sunday, June the 14th, we have a huge Money in the Bank mega raffle over at bostonwrestling.com where you can win 50 huge prizes from WWE and NXT, including a Money in the Bank pay-per-view chair, autographed 11 by 14s autographed 8x10 promo photos, a library of 20 books, tons more of unique wrestling items for your memorabilia collection. One winner gets the entire jackpot, all 50 prizes. It's open to any fan in the world. The raffle tickets start at just $5, and your raffle tickets are emailed to you after you purchase. The winning ticket will be drawn after Money in the Bank Sunday night. You can pick up the prizes at MWF Studios or arrange to have them shipped to you. You're talking about thousands of dollars worth of prizes and absolutely every dollar raised goes into our live event initiatives and producing more and more great video content for you to enjoy absolutely free don't forget that the wwe network is going to be available to new subscribers absolutely free for the month of june that includes wwe money in the bank this sunday night june the 14th as well as recent big events such as elimination chamber payback nxt takeover unstoppable and thousands of hours more in the WWE archives. It's unbelievable. It's the best value in pro wrestling media. Click on the link below on our YouTube page and start enjoying the WWE Network now for the month of June. Also, don't forget that you can help Boston Wrestling by using our special links for both Amazon.com and WWEShop.com. No matter what you buy, even non-wrestling merchandise on Amazon, we get a small percentage of your purchase, and it doesn't increase your cost one single cent. We bring you tons of free content each week and need some help to keep the train rolling. Don't feel like shopping. We have a PayPal account, folks. You can send a donation of any denomination, a dollar, two dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever you like, using the email address bw at bostonwrestling.com. We'd love to send you a shout out for helping grow our library for fans around the world to enjoy. We'd also be very happy if you joined us by subscribing for free to our YouTube channel. We're starting to close in on 800 free videos for your viewing pleasure. If you enjoy what you see, please share it with friends. And most importantly, click the like button on each video that you watch so YouTube will showcase our giant library to more and more of your professional wrestling fans. SmackDown opened up with Seth Rollins in the ring talking about how he dismantled the Shield and that he wouldn't need anything or anyone to beat Dean Ambrose in their championship ladder match at Money in the Bank on June the 14th. Dean Ambrose popped up on the Titan Tron with the championship belt in hand in an undisclosed location. He said he's the rightful WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and that's something he's going to prove or die trying. The primetime players defeated the Ascension and the Lucha Dragons to become the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championship and will face the New Day for the gold at Money in the Bank. I like the idea of showcasing tag team wrestling like this and building up the primetime players as something important, not an afterthought, when they collide with New Day. With Tyson Kidd injured right now, they need to heat up a babyface team or two as New Day is white hot. You've got to play that hand in 2015. I fully believe Lucha Dragons are going to be money for WWE. It's a matter of execution as that's a duo that fans, especially young fans, will rally around. Sin Cara was over huge with his initial debut and push in 2011 and still sold tons of merchandise even after his push was cut off. The new Intercontinental Champion Ryback squashed Stardust. Would like to see a lengthy reign for Ryback here, even if I don't think that he was the right guy to put the belt on. The re-pushed, focused Ryback can still be a big-time babyface player for WWE. The man is money. He resonates with the fans. It's a shame things worked out the way they did in late 2012, never mind 2013 for the self-proclaimed big guy. He was white hot and then got thrown into that program with CM Punk for the WWE Championship at a time that Punk couldn't lose the belt because he had his issues coming up at the Royal Rumble with The Rock that was a long-term plan. So Ryback was really the loser in The Rock's return. That is a different story for a different video. Paige discussed the use of twin magic on Raw with the Bellas. 
Click. Luke Hopper and Eric Rowan declared that they're reunited and focused. Great to have these two back in the tag team ranks. I still think that they could use Bray Wyatt or some kind of a manager to give them a team name. Really give them a strong, solid push as they were hot last year at this time when they were having their feud with the Usos along with tagging along with Bray with his issues with John Cena on the top of the card. These two are excellent together. Why they were ever broken up with no reason, angle, or storyline ever given to the fans, it's a sin. But they're back on track, and I look forward to see what's next for the former Wyatt family members. The NXT champion Kevin Owens began an open challenge of his own on SmackDown this week, a call that was answered by Zack Ryder. Owens crushed Long Island IZ as he prepares for a rematch from his classic encounter with John Cena. If you missed the match at Elimination Chamber, go out of your way to see it. Remember, for new subscribers, WWE Network is free for the month of June. You can use the link on our YouTube page to sign up as soon as you're done with this bad boy. Neville defeated Kofi Kingston in singles action. Both men are going to compete in Money in the Bank in Columbus, Ohio. Great way to build up some excitement here. These two are outstanding, high-flying athletes. And imagine both are going to go balls to the wall when the bell rings Sunday night. Next up was Miz TV with special guest Lana. Rusev came out on crutches and it looked like we were going to have a love connection type show. Rusev all but begged that Lana reunite with the ravishing Russian refused. Then Dolph Ziggler came out to escort his new lady friend to the back. Rusev certainly wasn't in any condition to chase after them. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out with Rusev out of action for the time being. Baffles my mind why the Miz is in the spot that he's in right now. Well, he's not the greatest quote-unquote in-ring worker that you'll ever see. He has tremendous personality. Dressing him up in an afghan week after week. I don't know, folks. The split with Damian Sandow came way too soon and went nowhere fast, so nobody cared. In the main event, it was Roman Reigns defeating Sheamus via disqualification. Like this matchup between two big men that are going for the briefcase as well on June the 14th. Sheamus looked fierce. And the beating he gave Randy Orton on Raw, and that's a great execution of Sheamus and provided a logical explanation story-wise as to why Randy Orton wasn't on this episode of SmackDown. Kane caused havoc in this one, announcing that he's going to be the final participant of the seven in the Money in the Bank ladder match, a match that he won back in 2010 and cashed in that night. Overall, this was an excellent two-hour broadcast on Sci-Fi. It focused on getting over the important details for the pay-per-view. I generally like SmackDown. It's a nice, tight, tidy program without a lot of fat that needs to be trimmed that sometimes winds up on a three-hour Raw more weeks than not. Love to hear your thoughts on the show. Fans, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Running out of time here. Until we speak again, folks, don't forget to enter our Money in the Bank Mega Raffle Sunday to win 50 WWE and NXT prizes over on bostonwrestling.com to support free videos and live events just like you're watching now. Until we speak again, you and yours, be well. I did it.